Hi, this is Dr. Doresti with the Cranial Release Technique. Out and about again, another mobile video in the car. It seems like this is my new office on wheels. It's sort of a cloudy, rainy day here in Long Island, and it's uh, much needed rain, especially for all the people suffering with allergies, take some of the pollen out of the air, so they're getting some relief, so that's a good thing. In our last video, I discussed how our brain and nervous system has to deal with stress in the way of physical stress, chemical stress, emotional stress, even the EMF, the electromagnetic frequency stress. And then I explained while doing the cranial release technique helps the brain function better, helps the brain handle stress better. And I just want to dive a little deeper into that with you. So research has shown that when the brain and nervous system is under constant chronic low-level stress, could also be constant chronic high-level stress. I would say most people have a higher level of stress than we've ever had, but let's just go with the definition. Constant chronic low-level stress. Constant chronic physical stresses, your posture, sitting at a computer all day, uh, looking at your cell phone all day. I see people all the time walking around like this, looking down. The types of sports, the types of exercises, the types of work that we do, the, the positions that we put our body in that, listen, I understand we have to move, we have to live, we have to do everything, but constant chronic low-level physical stress, constant chronic low-level emotional stress, problems at home, problems with the finances, problems with relationships, problems with the job, problems with your boss, problems with your employee, problems with the wife, problems with the kids, problems with your husband, goes on and on and on. Finances, taxes, all of that emotional stress that triggers us. So constant chronic physical stress, emotional stress, chemical stress, as we discussed in the last video. What are we breathing in? What are we, what's on the food, the additives, the chemicals, the creams that we put on our body, the medication that you're on, the plastics that we drink from, the, the soaps in our clothes, the, the actual material in the clothes. And then you throw in the electromagnetic stress. Cell phone signals, Wi-Fi environment, all of these stresses that our grandparents and great-grandparents never had to deal with. And so back to the original foundation of what we're saying here, which is that the constant chronic low-level stress affects the brain. And from an electrical standpoint, one of the hemispheres becomes overactive, one of the hemispheres becomes underactive. And that's just the way, and then you get locked into that position. Left brain overactive because of stress, right brain underactive because of stress. In this Example that I'm giving here. It could be the other way around. Left brain over overactive because of stress leads to tension in the right side of the body. Remember, the nerves cross. The left brain controls the right body. The right brain controls the left body. Unfortunately, you've probably seen that in people that have suffered from a stroke. And you'll see one arm is tightened up and one leg is tightened up and they're having trouble. It was the stroke in the opposite side of the brain. So now at a subclinical, at a, at, a, at, a, at a level that people are not even aware of, one hemisphere is overactive because of stress. That's causing excess tension on the opposite side. So left brain, right-sided tension, 
I'm going through life. Everything's tight on the right, tight on the right. If I laid this patient on the table, the right leg would be shorter. The whole spine would be distorted. And that's how they go day after day after day until something can come along and balance the brain hemispheres. And I'm told some different practices may do it, whether it be yoga, maybe it could be meditation, but for sure I know, and I see it every day, for sure the cranial release technique balances brain hemispheric activity. Balances brain hemispheric activity. So if you remember from the other video I showed you with the, the slide, with the three figures, everyone wants to be the figure in the middle because the brain is balanced, the body is balanced. That's what I want for you. I'm, in all my years of doing this, I'm yet to put someone on a table and check them and not find, whether through simple hands-on tests, whether through more sophisticated testing protocols, that one hemisphere is overactive, one hemisphere is underactive. All the time, every time, I see it every day. That you could build a whole practice on, just doing that. Just explaining to patients how being in constant, chronic, low-level stress, which is life today in 2023, how being under stress causes brain hemispheric act imbalance and how you should come in on a regular basis to receive cranial release technique to balance the brain, to balance the body so you can be healthier at every level of who you are and you can optimize your function to be the best you that you were designed to be. It could be as simple as that. If I were going back into practice today, that would be how I would describe to every patient that walked in, regardless of what they came in to see me for. Migraine headaches, TMJ, jaw problems, shoulder issues, back trouble, digestive, immune dysregulation, immune dysfunction, bowel trouble, whatever it happened to be. Improve my performance in sports. Whatever they came in with, I would explain that all of us, every single one of us, are under constant, chronic, low-level stress. That stress shifts the hemispheres out of balance from an electrical standpoint. Cranial release will shift you back, and you will function better at every level of who you were designed to be. Whether that's digesting your food, regulating your body temperature, hitting a baseball, kicking a soccer ball, Remembering details for your job, remembering details for your relationships, just being the best that you were designed to be, to me, is unattainable without balancing the hemispheres, and cranial release technique can help you do that, and it's a very simple, gentle, effective method, it takes about a minute with you laying on the table, and the practitioner's hands are on your head, it's very gentle and very powerful. Okay, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the share, subscribe, and like button. And hopefully you send this to your friends and family so that they can visit our website at cranialrelease.com and they can search for a practitioner in their area so that they can get on the table and experience this. And again, it doesn't matter what you may or may not be complaining of. Again, today, an hour ago, I was on the table receiving a cranial release from me. I don't have any symptoms, but I'm, I'm living in this stressful environment called life right now. So I benefit from regular CRT care to balance my hemispheres, balance the body, balance the nervous system, balance function within the body. If you are a practitioner and you would like to learn more about how you can add this to your current practice of whatever you're doing with patients. 
you can visit the website, craniorelease.com, click on the online training button, and that will take you to a separate page where you can learn more. How do you learn this work? How do you get all the modules, all the information, and be able to explain it the way, the way I'm doing in the comfort of your home or office? It's all on the website, online training program at craniorelease.com. See you down the road. Adios, my friends. It's a rainy Saturday here in New York, but we're going to make the best of it. Adios, my friends. Be well. Ciao.